This is the Free Village Countertop Ice Maker. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual. They give you an ice scoop over here. You can use or not use, that's totally up to you. And of course here is the machine itself. So let me tell you a little bit about it and then I'll show you around the machine and then of course we'll turn it on and I'll show you how it works. This ice machine will produce up to 26 pounds of ice a day. It produces nine bullet-shaped ice cubes in each round, if you will. Each time it harvests the ice, you get nine cubes, and they are bullet-shaped. So think of like a bullet from a gun, except the center of it is hollowed out. And that's going to be very important a little bit later when we talk about that takes about six minutes or so for each round to go through so you get nine cubes approximately every six minutes or so. There are two sizes of ice cubes small and large. Typically the small cubes are what you're gonna want for any drinks. Here's where it's important. Not only will the smaller cubes will you get more in each glass plus the more cubes there are the more centers of them there are and therefore that increases the surface area, if you remember that from science class, to the liquid that you place in the cup, therefore making it colder faster. Large cubes are great if you want to do bags of ice uh, to keep seafood cold or something like that, uh, use as an ice pack or anything of that nature. It has a self-cleaning function that I can show you later and uh, it holds a half gallon of water or two quarts. So let me show you the machine itself now. Here is the control panel on the machine on top. You have an on-off button and a select button. Add water, ice full, power light, small and large. So when you turn the unit on it's going to come up with one of these. You hit the select button to select small or large. We're going to be doing small cubes uh, for this demonstration. If it runs out of water, the add water light will come on and the machine will stop. If it makes too much ice and it's holding as much as it can, it will stop and the ice full light will go on. And of course the power light when the unit is turned on instead of just flashing in standby like it is now. Lid is right here. That opens up. And this is your ice basket. So when it makes ice down in there, I'll show you in just a minute, it's going to dump it out and it'll fall into the basket over here which of course is removable and you can take this dump it into a bag or anything that you want right there. In the back of the machine in there is where the business end is. Those uh, metal looking things that stick down there are a total of nine of them. Each of those will produce an ice cube. They get cold and what you see at the bottom sort of a graded plate is actually called a shovel and folded up behind the whole thing is a little bucket that'll hold water. So those tines go in the water, they get cold and ice forms around them and then when it's ready to harvest there is a reversing valve in there which will essentially defrost the machine. All happens just within a matter of seconds. The ice cubes fall down and then it runs that uh, shovel up the ice falls down and into the basket and there you go. So now we're going to add some water. At the bottom of the machine down here not shown is a drain plug that you can pull. Obviously you're going to want to make sure that's in there first. Just look under the machine and make sure it's plugged otherwise you've got a big mess on your hands. At that point you're ready to pour in the water so I have some here. I do not know how much water this exactly is. I know it is less than two quarts. That much I can tell you, but it will certainly be more than enough for us to get a nice bounty of ice in here. When you pour the water in, you want to obey the full line to make sure it doesn't go over that. Typically, as long as the water is below the bottom grate of this here, which just spilled everywhere, then uh, you will be just fine. 
So with that said, let's go ahead and turn the machine on. We'll close that and we're going to hit the on button. And I press the select button for small. I'm going to open this again just to let you see what's going on. You see how that came up? That's now a bucket in place around those tines. So this is now filling with water. It takes just a few seconds. It'll spill out, that's normal. And the machine starts up. There is a real compressor in here, similar to what's in a real refrigerator, and that is what is going to make those tines cold in there. There's a fan also, because just like your fridge, it needs a fan to get the uh, hot air out of there. Fan is on the right side. This is all the noise the machine is going to make while running. Just kind of a whirring noise like that. When it does harvest the ice, you're going to hear a couple of clicks, you're going to hear ice cubes drop, and then of course drop into the basket. So we're going to let this run now. Now, what's going to happen is this. After about six minutes, it's going to go ahead and harvest the ice. As it does that, it's then going to drop it into the basket here, and normally you'd leave that closed like that. So it'll drop in the basket. The ice, of course, is ready to use as soon as it goes into the basket. The first few rounds of ice are going to be diminutive in size, regardless of the setting that you have it on. This doesn't store ice in that it's not a refrigerated compartment, but after it builds up some ice, it's going to get cold in there just from the ice sitting in there. And that will help the machine kind of get itself going. So this is not the kind of thing that you want to just turn on and say, okay, great, in six minutes I'll have ice, because you're only going to have nine cubes, not going to be enough for a drink, and then you're going to have to wait another six minutes for another nine, and again, they're going to be kind of diminutive in size from the get-go. So you want to wait and let this run. If you're having people over for a get-together, maybe a holiday or something like that, you want to start this up before the guests arrive. Remember, it's going to shut off by itself if it either A, runs out of water, or B, fills up with too much ice, it's going to automatically stop. So you want to start this maybe a couple hours before your guests arrive. This can be nice and full of ice when they get there. Everybody gets their first round of drinks in, and meanwhile, while they're enjoying that, it's going to be making more ice, and it'll just keep going the whole time through everything. And just check it periodically. If you don't hear it whirring and doing its thing here, you say, oh, okay, you know, check the lights on top. Is it full of ice? No, it's not. Oh, it's empty of water, so the add water light will be on, and then you'd want to add more to keep the ice going for everyone. Of course, you can store the ice in the freezer. That'll help it keep, because otherwise, like I said, it is not a refrigerated compartment, so it will sort of melt while it's in there. Any ice that does melt is going to drip back down into the bottom where I poured the water, so it kind of gets recycled like that. Next question you're going to have is, well, can I just leave this on 24 hours a day? The answer is, yes, you can. If it gets too full of ice, it'll shut off in time. That ice is going to melt down. The sensor will say, oh, there's not enough ice in there and it'll turn the machine back on, and it'll just keep going. However, you do want to stop down to clean it, maybe once a week, once every 10 days, something like that, just to make sure there's not any water scum or anything like that that builds up in there, because you're going to be drinking that, so you kind of don't want that. Um, otherwise, it takes care of itself. It's right here, it runs, it does its thing, and we will come back when it harvests its first round of ice. And now it's going to harvest the ice. So it dumps the water. The fan shuts off momentarily while it does that. 
and the ice jumps into the basket. The basket, uh, the bucket back there is now refilling and uh, getting itself ready to go. So here is an ice cube. Yes, there's a scoop. This is my house. That is the ice cube. Remember, like I said, this is going to be diminutive in size. These are going to grow and get bigger as time goes on as the machine runs. They're slippery, they're wet because they're not fully formed. Um, some people want clear ice. If you want that, you're going to have to use distilled water or something of uh, that nature. Uh, you can use regular tap water. It'll be cloudy because of the minerals and whatnot in it. That's perfectly fine. What I'm going to do now is leave this to run for about an hour and we will come back so I can show you what it looks like later on. Exactly one hour later and there you are. Take a look here at this ice cube. Much fuller all around. Yes, it's not clear. We had discussed that earlier. And this, like I said, is on the small setting. There's still room. The sensors are up here. So this has got a ways to go yet. Let's see if I can pull this out without spilling everywhere. There's quite a bit of ice in there. Okay, that's quite a bit. What I have done in the meantime is I have set the machine to large cubes. It's not that much of a difference between them, but I'm going to wait till it harvests that and I'll show you the difference. Here is a harvest of large cubes, so I have a small one here. I'll catch one so this way there's no fooling around as far as which is which. Small and large on the right. Here's another small from before. Not a huge difference, but definitely the large size is bigger. Now let's get something to pour in there. Now doesn't that look refreshing? Now in actual drink speak, this certainly is a double. So if you're serving, you know, standard sized drinks, you'd be using probably half as much ice or maybe even a little less. And you can tell there's still plenty in there. This only ran for one hour. So we'll start cranking the ice out. Like I said, you want to start it early and let it kind of get itself going and it's going to produce ice faster than you know what to do with it. But like I said, you can bag that up and things like that. What I'm going to do now is shut it down and show you the self-cleaning function of it. For self-cleaning, you start with the machine off and hold the power button down. and it's going to start up and start doing things. There was one stray ice cube left in there. It takes on some water. And it's going to run through its process of whatever it's going to do. The cleaning process takes about 30 minutes. You see now it's dumping the water out. Then it sits and it waits for a bit. It runs the shovel back up and takes more water. And then it empties that back out again, and that process will repeat 
and that will go on for about 30 minutes. So once again, this was the Free Village Countertop Ice Maker. Certainly a very handy thing if your fridge does not have an automatic ice maker, or if it's broken, this can certainly take the place of it. The bullet-shaped cubes are great because of the hole in the center and their smaller size to help get your drinks colder faster all around really nice. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.